Ask Reddit by I don't play hockey. What is something you wish the opposite sex understood better? We don't always control our dicks. Just because I have an erection doesn't always mean I'm thinking of sex or want to fuck. And opposite, if I lose my erection during whatever games we are playing doesn't always mean that I suddenly find you repulsive or no longer want you. And a bonus inside tip, if a man does lose his erection for whatever reason, don't make it a point to say anything about it. Just act like it's all part of the plan and usually it can work out. You start asking if anything is wrong, now it's a problem. Starts saying things about being shy or anything like that, now it's a problem. Just roll with it and enjoy what happens. This needs to be top comment. Dicks have a mind of their own, and women need to understand this. Both sexes should understand that dating is a potential relationship's very best behavior. If you're having issues during dating and can't figure out some compromises it's not going to get better. That I can't hear you when you start talking to me from the other side of the house. Holy shit. Every damn day. Hold on. I can't hear you with the iPad going, the TV playing, and you're in the other room mumbling into the corner. Now admittedly part of the problem was my listening to music while way too loud when I was younger, but it's not all me. When I say just like that I don't mean speed up to 100 miles per hour. One time I was with a guy who was doing hand stuff on me, and he was absolutely wounding me with how hard he was pressing down. I asked him to press lighter. He started moving his hand slower, while applying the same amount of pressure. A good chunk of the men who need reassurance are most likely not getting enough compliments in the relationship. This isn't always the case, but I always felt insane dating certain people. And then with the right person who complimented me, is genuinely attracted to me and initiated things, and who actually loves me, I now think others weren't that attracted to me, even ex-fiancé, and I have never felt more confident, and safe in a relationship. Looking back, my intuition was correct with the other people I dated and that's why I never felt secure. Hello. I totally get what you mean. Before my current partner I never felt secure in my relationships due to lack of reassurance and affirming actions, which led to spiraling and wondering why I wasn't good enough. I would push the feeling down and try different things to get their attention and approval but it only made me feel worse when they were unresponsive to my efforts, leading to a toxic cycle. You say that the right person makes all the difference and it's completely true. I've never felt more secure and comfortable in a relationship until now, and holy shit what a world of difference it is to have a partner that makes you feel cherished and communicates their affection through words and actions. So happy that you've found your someone who makes you feel loved. If you wanted fries you should have asked for fries. Especially if they don't want a full fries, because then they don't finish the second order of fries and I get more fries. Please for the love of god do your fucking dishes. Fingering doesn't mean you need to jam your fingers in us. Be gentle FFS, that shit hurts. Not only cut them, but file them or at least rub them on your jeans to get rid of the sharp edges. I'm not thinking about anything. No I'm not cheating I'm playing games with the lads. Bullshit I saw your noscope hack wish both sexes better understood biased selections. Fuck boys, fuck Gerald's arrogant egotistical people and deplorable twats will be overrepresented in the pool of people you encounter in a dating setting. Normal people form relationships, and get tired of all the BS, all of which makes them underrepresented. Honestly I wish people were just better at understanding selection bias in general. If you're cuddling and the man gets a boner, that doesn't always mean he wants sex. I read this somewhere here on reddit and have since started calling it an affection erection. Seemed pretty on point to me. Edit. Oh wow thanks for the love everyone. My first comment with more than 13 upvotes. For both sexes, we are flawed people and we are not perfect. 
Stop expecting everything to be perfect 100% of the time. I'm far from perfect, but I strive to make myself better. I'm married guy. This. It's one of the main reasons I have trouble dating. The pressure to be absolutely flawless is just too much to handle. I know you turn on that feeling my morning would, but I need to pee. I just got an erection. Oh, fear not, it's nothing to do with your state of undress. I simply need to urinate. I need you to make some effort in pursuing me back. Otherwise this feels stalkerish. Or say you're not interested, the chase game really isn't as great as it sounds. Cold fusion. If someone knew more about it, we would all benefit. I'd settle for a scalable, efficient method of regular fusion. I'm not greedy. This might be specific to me, but if I ask you out, and you say no, that's it. Like there's no lingering weirdness or anything. If you're not interested in me romantically, that's fine. I'm perfectly cool just being friends. I won't be awkward or anything about it. Won't bring it up. Won't bring it up to mutual friends. It was just a question. Friendzone isn't a bad thing all the time. Sometimes it's where the best friends come from. That OP doesn't play hockey. I wish everyone could understand this better. Maybe this will get featured on those Reddit videos with interesting Minecraft background video. Edit, wow didn't expect to get so many likes, thank you all. Maybe you get featured in the next video? I genuinely have no clue about 99% of the min games taking place around me. Just because you keep telling me it's okay to have emotions doesn't mean I'm going to burst into tears. I have emotions, they're just quiet and don't bother people. I'm not emotionally distant or unfeeling. I'm just not going to burst into tears because the dog died in Molly and me. I'll cry when my dog dies in my dog and me. This exactly. I don't have the link but I remember reading something from someone who was FTM on here and he was talking about how he thinks testosterone affects emotion because he just stopped crying, feeling as volatile, etc. Throw in socialization on top of that for most men and it's evident we're gonna feel things differently. I'm not being some toxic male, I just don't cry. Nothing is wrong with that. We never get your hints. If you want something say it FFS. I am a woman who never got the hint. One time a dude I was crushing on told me he and his friends went to the zoo, and he was thinking, man. I bet Casbri13 would enjoy this too, but I don't have her number, that's what he told me. I said, yeah, that would have been fun and walked off. I told my friend about it later. She called me a moron because dude was trying to get my number, and I was obvious and blew him off. How bad period pain can get for some women. Have you ever been woken up from pain at 3am that didn't go away for at least a couple of hours so you just stayed awake because going back to sleep was definitely not happening? Painkillers only work for me if I catch it before it gets bad. Please. Just because you think I'm pretty, doesn't mean I need you to send me a photo of your junk. Come on now. As a guy I don't always want to have sex. Wanting to get in your pants isn't an indicator of liking you or not. Sometimes I just want to laugh and see how I enjoy being around you because most people turn out disappointing. You can be as moody as you like with me. Until you tell me what I have done wrong I have no idea what I've actually done. Just fucking tell us. From all mankind. I've never understood the people who will openly vent any thoughts issues they have when you just start talking to them, only to shy away from saying anything personal when you actually start getting to know them. This trait transcends gender barriers. Guys really appreciate non-sexual physical affection. And while I wouldn't want it to be a regular thing, 
Getting flowers once in a long while can be extremely nice and will definitely bring a smile to my face. Surprise visits, if not seen in a while. Homemade lunch for work. Surprise I love yous. Sex is not in its own box for us. My desire for sex isn't a separate thing from the fight we had his morning or how I've been feeling in general for the past few days. It's all in the same box. I can't tell what gender this is from, either from the comment or the avatar. Which is appropriate because the comment is correct in either case. Some people separate sex from other feelings and some don't. I'm a man but would never entertain the idea of sex if I was angry at a person or felt we weren't seeing eye to eye. We're honestly happy to help you lift stuff and carry stuff and put things away on high shelves. We like being big and strong. But please don't take it for granted. Show your appreciation. How would you show appreciation? In the moment I say thanks, been with BF now 8 months going on 9, and he's helped me through lots of difficult situations. I've decided to make him a work lunch for when he goes back to work, to show I love him. I also give lots of surprise hugs or kisses. Maybe it's already been said but, sex is more than sex. It's a connection. When there is no connection, people get grumpy, testy, short-tempered and irritable. I'm not sure if it works the other way, but some women think that a guy only wants sex to get off. It's not always true. We can do that without you. Yeah, saw this feminist article about how men have sex for ego and women have sex for connection. No. I can't speak for all men but I certainly don't think about it like that at all. I want connection too, I think that's what we're all searching for in one way or another. Edit. I did not expect to attract that much interest here. I did oversimplify what I took away from the article but I still really did not like what it said about men. I'll try to find it again and I'll put it here if I do might be off topic but I've come to realize every woman I know have no idea how to spot a toxic male, but at the same time have warned me multiple times about toxic women I didn't think were toxic. We didn't believe each other at first but were later proven wrong about every case. Anyone else had similar experiences? It's because, if they are straight, toxic men will be shitty to men and charming to women and the other way around. They can present as two totally different people.